Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope we're all having a wonderful, blessed day out there and we've got some pretty interesting stuff ongoing for a lot of folks currently, including some lake effect snow out there. Uh, and that really being followed up by a lot of very cold air for a lot of people. So I don't want this to catch you off guard. Uh, I know uh, some of us have been kind of above to about average. Well, uh, going into tonight and into tomorrow morning, a lot of you are gonna be waking up and wondering where all this cold air came from. So definitely wanted to talk a lot about that in today's video. Uh, we're we're also going to discuss kind of the pattern ahead, what we're expecting here through, I guess it's about the last week of November now, uh, which is pretty shocking to kind of say and uh, comprehend out loud just to think it's the end of November already. But again, going to talk about that pattern to end the month and also going to discuss kind of what we're expecting here starting our December and uh, going through the first week or two of December. Just going to talk about the overall pattern and how that might impact your weather wherever you may be watching from. Now, we'll also add here at the beginning of the video, if you haven't already subscribed, definitely consider doing so uh, as it means a lot to me and really helps the channel out a lot and uh, helps us get this information out to more folks out there uh, so they can kind of also prepare for some of these changes in the weather on the horizon also uh, comment let me know how you're doing out there I always love interacting with you guys I know normally I ask kind of where you're watching from if you're new definitely let me know where that is but uh, just let me know how you're doing in the comments maybe uh, tell me a little bit about your Thanksgiving and uh, tell me what you got planned here to end out November uh, I kind of will go ahead and start first personally uh, I've got a bit of a gauntlet lit up coming, excuse me, upcoming the next couple of weeks here uh, with a lot of kind of end of semester things ongoing, including finals starting very soon. So I'm a little stressed about that. So uh, definitely if uh, you're the praying type, definitely consider praying for me and I'll uh, pray for you as well if you have anything in the comments you'd like me to pray for. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the forecast. All righty. So, taking a look out there across the country right now, uh, pretty, uh, you know, interesting stuff depending on where you're at. If you're in the southeast, maybe the Ohio River Valley, uh, kind of down into much of Texas and into Florida, we're having a really nice Monday out there. Very blue skies, although definitely a bit chilly uh, for a lot of folks. It's really beautiful, though. Where things are a little more interesting, uh, that's kind of up here into the Great Lakes region. Now, we have a big-time low-pressure system uh, spinning away over sections of eastern Canada here, and that is bringing a lot of flow across these um, Great Lakes region and that is going to allow for some big time lake effect snow coming up here over the next couple of days. So uh, if you're up in that area, it's a bit cloudy right now, maybe even snowing depending on where you're at. Uh, and that snow machine will definitely crank up here soon. Another thing I will mention is, you know, look at all this white on the map out here near Kansas, Oklahoma, into sections of Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois. Uh, those aren't clouds, that's leftover snow from this past weekend. Uh, where we had very snowy conditions, even a couple college football games uh, really getting snowed in there uh, for some of those games that were happening back in Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri uh, over this past weekend. So very interesting stuff out that way. Now, uh, in terms of kind of current conditions out there, uh, again, right now, the only places that we're seeing much precipitation is out here in the Great Lakes region, and a lot of this is falling as snow. So let me go ahead and zoom in to you folks up in this part of the country. Again, some very heavy bands of lake effect snow right now, at least, setting up just south of Buffalo, but uh, these are going to fluctuate north and south a bit, and that's why we have lake effect snow warnings in effect from Buffalo all the way down towards Cleveland, where again, we're going to get plenty of snow and winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings also up for the UP of Michigan, uh, kind of the northwestern coastline here of Michigan as well. Uh, and again, a lot of snow going to fall, and we'll take a look at those totals here in just a moment. Outside of there, uh, relatively quiet. We do have some wind advisories here for the Appalachian chain uh, from West Virginia and Virginia down towards Boone and the Asheville area of North Carolina, seeing uh, some of those winds picking up. So again, it's been a bit of a rough wildfire season this year. The good news is we did get some rain uh, last week and we're expecting more rounds of rain through the next couple of weeks in this part of the country so that's definitely uh, some good news out that way for you folks. Uh, outside of there, we do have also a couple of freeze watches down here for southern Georgia and the Florida Panhandle, even into the low country of South Carolina down there, uh, kind of near Beaufort County, back, uh, back up towards Charleston, uh, Sullivan's Island, and kind of surrounding areas of South Carolina there. Could get really cold tonight, so still uh, some of you farmers out there maybe have some plants uh, right now. Definitely consider covering those up tonight and take whatever precautions you normally would uh, to kind of prepare for that. Alrighty, so that's kind of uh, what we're seeing in terms of 
uh, you know, current conditions out there. Let's go ahead and move this ahead in time a little bit and uh, take a look at what we're expecting over the next couple of days. So our latest NAM model here does a really good job at depicting kind of what we're seeing. And again, right now, what I want you to notice, obviously, a lot of lake effect snow ongoing, uh, but as well as um, look at these blue lines here. Notice how these are very kind of... Um, I guess buckling and kind of uh, bending in this general shape. What that is, is that's troughing in the atmosphere and that's bringing a lot of cold air down from Canada currently uh, and bringing that quite far south. So again, we're going to have a very cold stretch here over the next couple of days before things begin to moderate. Uh, the other big story though, of course, is that lake effect snow going into later tonight and into tomorrow morning. These are heavy bands of snow, guys. Uh, if you're out near Buffalo, up into sections of uh, upstate New York, just really anywhere in the Midwest and Northeast that is lake effect snow prone, it's going to be cranking over the next couple of days. Uh, some folks are going to get feet of snow likely out of this. And again, we'll talk about who that is here in just a moment. But uh, this is tomorrow morning. You're waking up in Buffalo, uh, maybe surrounding areas. Again, these bands kind of are very thin, although very hectic, very thin. So um, it's not going to be for everyone at once. But once these bands kind of roll over where you're at, it's going to come down quick, heavy and hard. So you got to get ready for that. Again, that continues to crank to tomorrow afternoon through much of New York State into sections of Michigan and Wisconsin as well as well as uh, excuse me Ohio and Pennsylvania getting in on some of that lake effect snow uh, going into tomorrow evening that lake effect snow machine continues to crank up through much of the northeast and on top of that we could even get a bit of a clipper system to ride down out of Canada going into our Tuesday night and Wednesday morning so kind of to draw that out here for you on your map, uh, that's the secondary system. So uh, some folks are really going to get a lot of snow these next couple days in this part of the country. Outside of there, you know, likely not much snow making it south of kind of uh, the higher elevations of West Virginia and Virginia, but it will still be cold. Again, notice these blue lines hanging quite far south here, indicating, um, you know, that cold air sinking very far south. And that's also why we have those freeze watches. Uh, continuing this ahead into Wednesday afternoon, again, lake effect snow continuing and that clipper system kind of moving through, uh, bringing a bit of one last hurrah of lake effect snow going into Wednesday and Thursday uh, before things kind of begin to moderate and we get once again some southerly flow to return and change that wind direction, bringing in warmer weather as well as uh, bringing the winds kind of off of the lakes a little bit and allowing some of that lake effect snow to calm down a little bit. Alrighty, uh, so that's kind of, uh, you know, where we're going to see the snow. Let's also take a look at, um, you know, how much snow we're going to see depending on where you are at. So, um, again, right now, kind of taking a look at uh, sections of Michigan and the UP of Michigan, and I'm going to actually have to change this, so give me one second, guys. Sorry uh, to get in the way, but I'm going to have to fix this just so this lines up properly. Uh, let's see if I can click the right buttons. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, as I was saying, some of that snowfall, again, likely into sections of Michigan uh, this afternoon, evening, and into the next couple of days. Some of you folks could get, uh, you know, half a foot, maybe upwards close to a foot of snow, especially kind of in this section uh, of the UP and also on these extreme uh, northwestern sections of Michigan itself outside of the UP. I really think some of these places uh, really could get past six inches of snow. Some of you, again, could kiss a, a foot of snow, uh, depending depending on kind of how these bands of snow set up. Alrighty, uh, outside of that, let's also take a look kind of here at sections uh, further off into the northeast, into sections of Pennsylvania, Ohio, and New York State. Again, a lot of snow, especially for this area. Uh, latest forecast from the National Weather Service, potentially sections of upstate New York could be getting close to two feet of snow out of this. Uh, so this is really the first big time lake effect event of this winter. Widespread totals of a foot or more here, uh, kind of from Erie, PA, into the southern suburbs of Buffalo and back towards the Cleveland area. So uh, again, a lot of snow here going to cause some big time travel impacts and we really have to uh, kind of be prepared for that as we move this ahead. Uh, into the next couple of days. The good news is we do warm back up getting closer towards this weekend and we should be able to kind of melt out some of these totals. Uh, one more thing I will mention here, again, some of you folks kind of further to the south down into the higher elevations of West Virginia uh, into extreme western Maryland there. Could even see maybe uh, some flakes fly, a dusting to an inch, definitely not out of the question. In fact, uh, we had about that much in the North Carolina mountains this morning. So uh, definitely, you know, possible to continue that trend here going into the next couple of days. 
Alrighty, so that's kind of uh, the story on the lake effect snow. Let's talk about temperatures here a little bit because not everyone's going to see snow, but just about everyone is going to see some really cold air for this time of year. So uh, by the time we're waking up tomorrow morning, Again, a lot of people well below average for what they should be this time of year, especially kind of here into the Ohio River Valley. Temperatures 15 to 20, maybe even 25 degrees uh, below what they should be uh, for the end of November. So uh, just kind of taking a quick sounding here in kind of the central part of Illinois here. Temperatures getting down into the teens for you folks, uh, kind of uh, down here into the higher terrains of West Virginia. Temperatures getting also down into the teens. So again, widespread teens are going to be a likely story here uh, for tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon it doesn't really warm up all that much before once again going into Wednesday morning uh, cold temperatures once again take over the good news uh, if you're not a fan of the cold we do begin to moderate and you'll notice some of these reds work back into the forecast as that southerly flow really ramps up going into the later part of this work week and into this weekend so definitely some good news there Alrighty, so kind of uh, to expand on this medium to long range forecast, obviously we know the next couple of days are going to be snowy and cold for much of uh, the East Coast, at least snowy for some folks, but cold for everyone. Uh, what about kind of moving ahead as, again, I did give you a bit of a sneak peek there with those warmer temperatures going later on into this work week. Well, uh, again, the next couple of days stay cold before finally we get kind of into that Thursday time frame and you'll notice high pressure is stationed off the Southeast coastline. That's going to allow a southerly flow out of the Gulf to uh, once again, really kind of crank up, and that is going to allow some ridging to build here, meaning warmer temperatures. So with troughing again, kind of looked like this in the atmosphere, uh, ridging going to do the opposite, bringing that warm air uh, quite far north uh, and bringing some relief from the cold going into this weekend. But with that, likely a storm system as well. So uh, most of our models projecting some low pressure to develop out here into the southern Great Plains and bringing with it uh, some big time heavy rainfall here for sections of the southeast and Ohio River Valley going into our Friday, uh, really starting late Thursday into early Friday, uh, and then continuing to work into the Northeast by the time we get into later Friday and into Saturday before once again that system clears out and we have to watch another southern system to develop along the Gulf and potentially this one also begin to work on inland uh, bringing some rain into the southeast so definitely need to watch that. Uh, models pretty confident on this one big time storm system uh, at least in terms of some rainfall impacts maybe a bit of some gusty winds we'll have to watch severe weather as well we'll talk more about that uh, in another video but Again, models confident on that storm system starting Thursday into Friday, going into Saturday. Uh, and then they're also pretty confident on that second system impacting the southeast uh, by the time we get into our Saturday, Sunday, Monday of next week time frame. Uh, now, going beyond that, again, we're getting past a week here, but models have been hinting at potentially a more robust storm system, kind of climbing the east coast here, going into uh, that first week of December. This we'll have to watch. Again, uh, this is just the latest GFS model indicating very strong strong low pressure uh, again about a week a week and a half from now uh, into the northeast and that could be enough to bring potentially some big time winter weather impacts uh, going into that general time frame and also potentially the return of some cold air so definitely watching that and uh, again taking a look at what kind of cold air we could be seeing here I don't think we have any sustained cold air on the horizon but some shots of it every now and then look to continue. Again, right now, well below average temperatures in the east. Those moderate uh, with some red returning this week and ahead of that next storm system before, uh, again, potentially another storm system later on brings a little bit of some blue back into the forecast here into the east uh, and could moderate some of those warmer temperatures. But as a whole, uh, going further out, not too many signs of long-lasting cold air. And uh, the Climate Prediction Center here agrees with that high, likely excuse me, high likelihood of some above average temperatures for uh, really just about everyone in the lower 48 over the next six to 10 days. Uh, the good news is uh, it will be wet in the East Coast and we definitely could use some rain here into sections of the Southeast and Mid-Atlantic as that drought persists for a lot of folks. So uh, definitely watching that here in the future and uh, we'll watch to see if some cold air can maybe line up with uh, some of this moisture going out into kind of the later parts of December. I will mention uh, El Nino years often start like this, likely pretty wet and warm before finally getting into that later December going into January, February. Usually that's when the winter weather really cranks 
cranks up in the East Coast. Uh, and really, everyone's got a shot this year, I think, from the Southeast through the Northeast, through the Ohio River Valley, the Great Plains. Um, it's still very early in the year, but all signs are there uh, that everyone's got at least a shot at some winter weather this year, which, uh, again, will be a welcome change from last year, uh, where it was quite quiet. At least for me, I like the winter weather. So maybe you don't so much. Uh, let me know uh, definitely in the comments if you like winter weather. Uh, alrighty, so... Might have been a bit of a long video here. I tried to kind of pace things a little bit slower. I've had a couple of people tell me I talk really fast whenever I record these videos, and uh, I tend to agree with them, so I'm trying to act a little more uh, calm, although, as I'm sure you can imagine, I love the weather, so it's easy to kind of just go on the rails on the train, and sometimes the train derails a little bit, so uh, I apologize about that. But anyway, again, hope you're all having a great uh, a great Monday out there. Wow, uh, having trouble talking. A uh, great Monday out there, uh, and I'll see you all tomorrow.